Hey everyone, this is Patty from Deep Space Sparkle. If you love using the elements of art to sequence your lessons throughout the year, but you're stumbling on proportion, well, I got a solution for you. I'm going to show you how to create a really cute, uh, proportionally based snowman that's perfect for five, six, and seven year olds. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to draw a really easy snowman, but with proportion in mind. Proportion is one of the elements of art and principles of design that we promote in Deep Space Sparkle through our EPIC curriculum. Okay, all you need for this lesson is really easy supplies that you already have on hand. So white paper, white 12 by 18 inch paper, plus a black oil pastel or a crayon. So I have an oil pastel here and a crayon. You can use either or, and some cake tempera paints. Now I have a nine roll palette, but whatever you have is fine. It doesn't matter what color the uh, children paint the background, but you do need a blue. And if you need a handout, I have one for you. You can get this handout plus many others by clicking the link in the description below. Now I know proportion is a big word, but if you use these handy steps, I guarantee that you're going to have a great snowman in which to paint. Now, in a future video, I'm going to show you the benefits of using hand placements, but what I'd like you to start with is to tell your students to put their hand on the top of the paper and where their um, kind of thumb ends up and they can kind of spread their hand a little bit more than me because my hand's bigger, make a little dot. Then use a any kind of plastic container. This is just a, a pint sized plastic container and you just want to place it just over the dot. Then you want to trace a circle around the template or the container. Now, the next step is to have children look at the size of that circle. Maybe they can even put their hands in the center of that circle so that their hands kind of fill up the circle. They might have to spread their fingers. And if they take their hand and come down to the bottom of the paper, the next thing I want them to do is to make sure that they draw a big upside down letter U or a mountain around their hands. Now they can't make it skinnier than their hands because proportion is all about making something look like the scale is correct. So look at this big, huge bottom of the snowman and then the top part of the head. So you can also talk about proportion. So if this head or the body was smaller than the head, then the head would probably roll right off that snowman. And that's one way children can start to imagine that the head needs to be a little bit smaller than the base. So now to connect the bottom and the top, make a curved line that connects both the head to the body. Now we want to do all of the details and I like to draw a hat that goes right across the top, just a little bit below. And again, you can use proportion by using one finger and making sure it goes below the top part of the line. Otherwise, the hat will just be kind of tippy on the head. Then take your oil pastel and draw a rectangle or any kind of hat you want. Now, some children will want to make that brim a rectangle, and that's fine. Now, we're going to color this in a little bit later. So now what I want you to do is get out your cake temperer paints. Now, these are dry. What I like to do before the children come into art class is to Put a little bit of water on the cake temperer paints, especially if you have this brand. This is a Richeson brand that you can get through a Blick. The reason why I do this is just to get the paint activated so that the children won't be scrubbing too much to get a really good color. So now I'm going to put that over here. And I want to take my clean brush and I want to dip it in a little bit of blue paint. And I want to go around the outside. Now you want to use water to make the color lighter or darker and they're not going to color in or paint in the centers. They are going to focus on the outside because this is what's going to give the snowman that rounded three-dimensional look. Tell them to use big broad brush strokes. Now the background, I'm using a pretty broad brush and the way I love to use cake tempera paints is to get a whole application of paint on my brush. So for little kids, five and six years old, they'll often dip their paintbrush in the paint and then expect it to be really dark. So tell them to go around about 10 times. 
And that way, if they can see the paint on their brush, they know it's nice and dark and they're good to go. Now, when you finish this, here's a little bit of craftsmanship. You can encourage your students to take their paintbrush and to paint in an opposite direction to smooth the paint, make it just a tiny little bit darker, go up and down, back and forth. And this really makes the paint go on nice and even. Now I'm using really warm, bright, vivid colors for my background. Now your students could do a rainbow, they could do a blue sky. You just wanna encourage them to paint the background a color that they enjoy painting with. And it could be as many colors or as few colors. Okay, now it's time to add all the details. I have to say, the thing I love most about Cake Tempera paints is the ability for it to dry super fast. If you were using liquid tempera paints, you would have to put this uh, art project aside to allow the paint to dry before you proceed it to this step. Now I'm coloring in my black hat. I'm gonna make two eyes. I'm gonna use an orange to make a carrot nose and some pebbles for the mouth. And the arms, two lines and three short lines for the fingers. Here's another option for you. You're gonna draw your snowman the exact same way, but instead of using cake tempera paint, you might wanna consider using chalk. Chalk is so easy to do, and this whole project could be completed in almost less than 30 minutes. That's how fast chalk is. So this project is pretty much done, but if you wanna add a whole new level of fun, check out last week's video where I showed you how to make a splatter box and create the perfect consistency for some snow. I can't wait to see your snowman, so make sure you join the Deep Space Sparkle Dazzler group and show off your students' work. Now, if you're interested in learning how to plan your school year with an epic or an elements of art and principles of design curriculum, well, you found the right spot. The Sparklers Club inside the Deep Space Sparkle uh, membership program has a whole curriculum on how to teach your students ages five through 13 the elements of art. So click the link below to learn more. Thanks for watching.